I'm Greg here with Bennington Marine. We've got a beautiful spring day, and it just gets you in the mood to start getting the boats out of storage. So we're going to go ahead and give you some helpful tips on how to summarize your boat for the season. So we've just uncovered the boat. So one of the things we want to check out is the furniture. So we just want to make sure there's no stains or spots that we want to get cleaned up before we head to the water. Um, and if there's any debris that was left on the boat to get cleaned up, including the floor. Uh, as far as the seats cleaning that, we have some great video for you to check out online on that. And of course, before you head to the water, you want to make sure you have your license and registration uh, up to date. You're going to want to do an equipment inventory before you head out to the lake. You're going to make sure you have things like your life jackets, your throwable device. It's always good to have bumpers, docking lines. Um, don't forget the fun stuff. Towels, sunscreen, those things as well. Those are just as important. Make sure your fire extinguisher is up to date. Make sure your battery's charged up. Sometimes you may have multiple batteries, so you want to make sure they're both charged. A lot of times the marinas will do that for you, but if you don't have the marina doing that for you, then you will want to go ahead and get yourself a battery tester to make sure that they're fully charged. And when you're using the boat, you want to have your battery switched to, to the on position. That will power up the engine and the accessories on the boat. And then when you're not using it and you're going to be away from the boat for a while, you want to make sure you turn that into the off position so it's not drawing any power from your batteries. If your boat's equipped with a bilge pump, you're going to want to test that and make sure that it's functioned properly. As your boat's coming out of storage, it's been sitting for a while, you want to make sure that there's no water that needs to be pumped out of it, especially if it was stored outside for the winter. You could get rain or snow that might have accumulated somehow inside the boat. Making sure your engine's ready for the season. You want to make sure that the engine oil, if you haven't done it yet, you want to get it done here soon. Uh, you want to change your engine oil, your engine oil filter, the gear lube, and also if it has a water separating filter, you want to change that as well. Uh, not every engine's the same, but on the engine I have right here in front of me, the dipstick is right here underneath the hood. Uh, before you test it, you want to make sure the engine is straight up and down vertically. Pull out your dipstick, have yourself some paper towel, Look at the oil, and you want to make sure it's inside about middle in the crisscross pattern. And we can just clean that off and put it right back in. I'm sure many of you have already had it serviced and winterized and taken care of at your marinas. We always suggest you to get with your local marinas and have that work done. Uh, they are the professionals. They know the ins and outs of your engine. Uh, we always also recommend that you uh, take a look at your uh, engine manuals before you uh, start it out of the water. We're going to talk about that a little bit right now. So um, you can get yourself a set of what's called earmuffs or motor flushes. Uh, motor flush, is this allows you to start the boat outside the water. You can check your engine, make sure everything's working properly. You don't want to be that person at the launch site for the first time and your engine's not running correctly or it won't start. So that gets a little embarrassing. So with a set of these motor flushers, what you can do, it allows you to start the engine up out of the water and uh, check it and make sure it's ready for the season. How this does, it slides right over your intake. This is your intake on most engines. Again, check your owner's manual, make sure that's the same on yours. Take our motor flusher, slide it over the front of the engine gear case, and we want to make sure we we cover these intakes as you see right there so get a good kit fit on there and take our garden hose and go ahead and install that so it's nice and tight and then what we'll go ahead is we'll turn on the water and then we'll fire up the engine we just want to make sure we have a good stream coming out from the engine and fired right up so we're looks like we're ready to go to the lake while the boat's up on the trailer this is a great opportunity to clean your tubes now ideally it's best if you do it in the fall uh, especially when you just get out of the water you can clean them off real easy while it's still wet but if not then you can clean them here while it's sitting on the trailer in the springtime for more boating tips visit us at benningtomarine.com